What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Thing Pro Basketball and in today's video we're going to go over some NBA shooting secrets to help you become a better shooter. Let's get started. Alright guys, well like I said, we're going to go over just a couple of basic easy tips to help you with your shooting, things that you really should be thinking about and the corrections to make in order to become a better shooter. I'll give you a couple of drills, things that I like to use that are gonna work on each of the three topics we go over and cover. All right, so the first one that's really important when you're becoming a better shooter is your footwork. All right, your footwork is very important because it allows you to get your feet set, your legs underneath you and rhythm into your shot. Okay, if you look at some of the best shooters in the NBA, you know, Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, those type of players, those type of shooters, you see that their footwork is always on point. Whether they're off of the dribble, off of the catch, coming off of screens, things of that nature, they know how to work their feet. All right, so one drill that I like to use, or one type of topic I like to use, is the curl shooting drill because this really forces you, number one, to get your feet curled around, get your feet lined with the hoop if you're that type of shooter, or just to help you align your body into your shot. Okay, so your footwork is important, but here's the thing with the footwork that I wanna talk about. If I'm coming this way, so if I'm coming to my left, right, I wanna make that my inside footwork is the footwork I use to get my shot meaning that foot that's closest to the rim and closest to inside, which would be on my right foot on this one if I'm going left, my left foot if I'm coming right. Okay, so if I'm coming off of the screen here, I wanna swing that inside foot. So when I come off this catch, I wanna swing this inside foot to a one-two shot. Okay, so what I say one-two is when I swing, I catch, I got one, right, that's my plant. Now all I have to do is just bring this foot around two, and I'm right into my jumper. Okay, that helps me square my shoulders, get my body set on my jump shot. Same thing, when I'm coming left, now it's, or when I'm coming right, now my left foot's the inside foot. So when I come to catch, it's one. Now for a right-handed player, this is a little easier because now you're swinging your strong foot in front and it really allows you and forces you into getting your feet set and underneath you to create a great opportunity to score the basketball. Okay, all types of footwork, whether it be like a fade out and you catch and you swing, it'd be a flare, right? You have to be able to think about your footwork. A lot of the times you don't wanna be hopping, especially as you can become a more experienced basketball player, you don't wanna hop into your shot. I know you're taught that at a young age to come into your jump stop and to shoot the basketball, but now as you get older and more experienced to speed up your jumper, your footwork is important to go into shots where it's one, two, or it's one, two, rather than hop and then load and plant, when if you go into a one, two jumper, you can get it off a lot quicker. All right, so those are just a couple of things to think about with your footwork when trying to improve your shooting. And what, remember what it does. It allows you to get on balance, it allows you to get a rhythm, get your legs underneath you, and helps you get squared to the basket to shoot your jumper. That's the first thing I wanted to talk about. Let's move on to topic number two. Ooh, you know I like it. Ooh, you so enticing. Ooh, I'm so excited. All right, Hooper, so we just talked about footwork. Now let's talk about our shoulders and how important that is to getting our shoulders aligned to the basket. So again, I want to use the curl shooting because I think this is the best way, especially to illustrate this type of stuff because we talk about our footwork and how we, we want to swing it around and to get our shoulders aligned like that because right now we're facing this way if we're coming off of a curl towards our passer when the hoop is here. Okay, so we talked about our footwork and how our footwork helps get our body aligned and get into place to shoot the basketball. But making sure our shoulders are square. So if I come off this screen here and my shoulders are facing this way but I shoot the basketball here, right? I'm not a very accurate shooter. I haven't done all the necessary stuff, steps to prep myself in order to score the basketball, right? I gotta get my footwork down. I gotta get my one, two, and now I gotta get my shoulders whipped all the way around so I'm targeted on my target, okay? So I wanna get here, I gotta get my footwork right, now I gotta get my shoulders turned, okay? Even if you shoot the basketball with a slight tilt in your feet, which I do, or if you have your feet totally square to the basket, you've gotta make sure your shoulders are always there. So when I shoot the basketball, I'm aiming at my target and not somewhere else, okay? 
So think about that. Anytime you're coming off of screens, oh, here I come. Gotta get my shoulders though. I gotta get my shoulders around. I've heard that a lot throughout my career. I heard my shoulder, or my coaches, anytime I'm doing a workout, get your shoulders turned. Get your shoulders turned around. Get them in position, you know? Those are the things you have to think about when you're trying to become a better shooter. But your footwork is getting your one, two step down, right? Speeding up the quickness and release of your jump shot. Now we're talking about our shoulders and always making sure our upper body is squared towards our target so we can be successful and accurate when we're shooting the basketball. All right, so that's the second thing I wanted to talk about. We got one more topic to talk, talk about and then we'll get into some drills. Let's move on. So excited, your is look the bestest. Oh, I wanna bite it, I can see it in your eyes. All right guys, now the last thing I wanna talk about is our release, right? This is the last opportunity you have to touch the basketball before you get to get, before you release it to shoot the ball. So with your shot, again, footwork, shoulders, and just important. Now with our jumper, regardless of where your release is coming from, right? So when I shoot the basketball, it's coming from right here. It's right above my head. Younger players, obviously you're not as strong enough yet. So when you come around, you know, that ball is being shot from below your chin, okay? But anywhere, wherever you release the ball, that's not up to me wherever you're releasing the basketball. It's where you're most comfortable at. Anytime you shoot the basketball, you wanna put yourself in a comfortable position where you're comfortable and confident in your shot. But any release that you have, whatever it be from here, from here, from here, from here, from here, whatever it may be, you wanna make sure that when you release the ball, your hand goes up, right? So if I'm shooting the ball from here, even though when I release, it goes up here, right? That hand is going up, because if I shoot it from here and my hand goes straight, it's gonna go straight, it's just gonna be no arc, and that's limiting my opportunity and chance to score the basketball. But if I'm from releasing from here, and I go up with it, I'm getting more arc on the ball, and it's giving me a higher percentage to score the basketball, right? So when you're focusing on that, right, when I'm coming off of here, I gotta make sure I'm getting that release point up. And I'm not talking about where we're releasing the basketball, but where my arm extends. I wanna get the arm extension and leave that hand up. That's what my dad always used to tell me. Leave that hand up after you shoot it and watch it go in, okay? So on any shot that you shoot, you wanna make sure that you're getting that ball in the air, reaching into the cookie jar. Boom, we're right there. We don't wanna be straight. You can't get no cookies in this position here. You can get them in here, all right? So the last thing is your release. Make sure your release is on point. Get that chicken wing. We don't wanna be shooting out here. We wanna get that elbow in to make it comfortable, all right? That's what's gonna help you become a better shooter. So our footwork, getting our shoulders aligned to the basket and our release point and focusing on getting that hand up in the air to give us the best possible chance to score. All right, so next let's move on and let's get a couple of drills in to get some work done. All right, so the first drill, obviously I wanna give you the curl shooting drill, okay? So if you have a, uh, somebody there to pass to you, great. If not, you'll just do it as I'm doing right here. So we wanna stay wide, we wanna curl into that elbow area. So all we're gonna do is spin the ball out and we're focusing again when we catch it, is that one, that inside foot, bringing that second foot around, shoulder squared, and that release, okay? So all it's gonna look like, we'll come up, catch, and shoot, okay? There it is. That's the first drill I wanted to show you. Obviously, I like the curl shooting drill. This is gonna help you work on your footwork, get your shoulders squared, and then focus on that release. Let's have a look in full speed. You need that, and I'll supply it. Got that exclusive, and you should try it. The aura that I'm feeling chilling, it does something to me. I'm shooting half for shots, I miss it, just forget you know me. You know I need that, I can't deny it, and I will worship. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna work on a variation off of the curl shooting drill, but now I wanna use a dribble. So now you're gonna use that dribble that we talked about to get into your one-two footwork, okay? So again, we're gonna spin the ball off here. Boom, we're gonna shot fake. Now it would be like it's a double screen. So we come off this first screen we used from Buddy, we shot fake and all he does is flip back and we're coming right back this way to a one-two jumper. Okay, so we're coming off, one, two, so that means our inside foot's our pivot. Shot fake, we're coming back with a cross step. One dribble, one, two, shot. Okay, here it is in full speed.
All right, Hoopers, well, there is a couple of shooting secrets to help you become a better shooter. If you like to click the like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think of today's video. Most importantly, click that subscribe button, join Think Pro Basketball. Check out all the great content that we release every single week designed to help you improve on your game. Now, if you like today's video, it's most important that you get out there, hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, work on everything that we've talked about today, your footwork, your shoulders, your release, the two drills I gave you so you can work on all three of those to become a better shooter. Until I see you again next time, remember to always keep hooping.